Alright guys, welcome back to the next episode of the Let's Play and we have some seriously cool updates and stuff we gotta show you here. So, first things first, if we take a look at the texture pack, I am now using, it's called the Fateful Texture Pack and what it is, is kinda like a HD version of the default texture pack, so I thought people would, would appreciate that and like that. Let me see what my, oh okay. Um, because I know people like the default texture pack, and they, but they also wanted something a bit different. So I think this gives the best of both worlds. It's a nice, um, it's a nice pack, and it kind of uses the default anyway. Skeleton, I know you're chasing me. Go away. That's why I'm running away. Right. And second of all, we have the Divine RPG mod now installed, as you could probably tell from the kind of the thumbnail and the title of this video. But so I don't think we're too prepared for it, but I think we're just kind of jumping in. Um, look at that guy up there. God, what is he? He's obviously part of the mod. Anyway, yeah, so with the installation of this mod, I kind of just, I'll show you what I did here. So if we, do you know way down here, we just came down and we didn't really do anything, but look at this now, bam. What I did was I got loads of command blocks. Because we're on an island, um, it's going to be a lot, a lot of traveling, like in boats and stuff, which I thought would just be too much hassle, like going from place to place. So we have command blocks now, which I just spawned in a certain amount of them, so I keep them in there. And we will just be using them for teleporting just around the place. So I think it's just so much handier. I mean, to save the time of just running everywhere. I won't be doing it like two. There's one to our mine and one to our farm. So if we click that, then we're at the farm. Oh god, there's a big cyclops thing in there. Oh god, because I'm pretty sure they are really strong. Oh god, this isn't gonna be fun. So we need to kind of sort out what we need in order to kind of survive this. Um, I want to kill that skeleton in order to survive this mod because it's gonna get. Hard. <laughs> Let's be honest. So, I have the place fenced in. Actually, yeah, I didn't show this. I kind of went around and. Hello, Cyclops. I see you. Going for a swim. So, he's new, as you can tell, the size one. Oh, he is going to murder him now for that. I would not be shooting the Cyclops. But anyway, yeah, so this was our. Don't look at me, Enderman. This was the um, blacksmith that we made. And it looks pretty cool in this texture pack. I just kind of finished off the area, just kind of rounded the top. Um, I've nothing in here yet. I tested it out with lava and it burnt half the place down. So we will try it with fire soon. What else? Yeah, I fenced the place in because I thought we'd need a little bit of protection from this mod. Um, because it's going to be crazy. So, yeah, that's us fenced in. Probably half of them probably still get over it, like this guy. Get back. Um, so yeah, we kind of just need to get prepared now for what this mod's got installed for us. So we're going to need to get more diamonds, let's be honest. So now we've kind of got the quick tour, we can kind of get down to business. We're going to need enchantment room, so which means we're going to have to get some obsidian, which isn't going to be fun because that means we have to use our diamonds. Hello, skeleton. There's enough of you around. Are you not burning yet? No? Um, yeah, so we're going to have to use three diamonds to make a diamond pickaxe in order to get obsidian. We just hassle, but we're going to have to, um, let me just, we need to sort out what we got going on here. What do we really need? We don't need any of that. Eggs, da da da. Might keep that out, actually. This stuff, door, stone bricks. Just get rid of this crap that I don't need right now. So I suppose I'll keep the rest of that there. Suppose it could probably come in handy at some stage. Um, food, and we always can use a bit of wood. So let's go down to the farm. We should probably make our diamond pickaxe. And it's such a waste because we only have five diamonds, but we don't really have a choice because we're going to have to do our enchantment table because I'd say enchantments are gonna get be very very important for us here because I mean oh look I have some blocks nice I've no coal though 
So let's make this here and here. Oh no, I need to get some sticks first. Uh -huh. So it's all about preparing now in order to survive this mod. So we have two diamonds left. We are still kind of deciding on what Wilson's going to be. So he still may be a lone diamond. We don't know yet. But uh, I'll probably look at that for the next episode. But for now, we're going to go and attempt to find ourselves. Oh, wait, I need some bucket of water. I need water. I need water. Um, That's a disaster. Really? Okay. Can we... Can we take some from there? Oh, we're after making such a mess of this. Oh. Oh well. It'll be fine. It'll survive. Do you know what? We'll fix it after. Give me some more. Thank you. Okay, so we'll bring that. And let's hope. I'm not quite sure what we're going to find in the mines necessarily to do with the Divine RPG mod because I haven't really looked into it. And another thing, guys, do you think I should get that mod? What's the mod that shows you all the recipes? Do you think that would be smart? Hmm, I'd say it probably will be needed, but I actually don't have it on installed yet. So let me know in the comments, yes or no, should I get the one that kind of gives me the recipes? Because I know I'm gonna, there's a lot of recipes in the um, this mod. So we're going to put our diamonds in there because God knows we don't want to lose them straight away. We also don't want to lose this diamond pick, so let's just be prepared for whatever comes at us. Hopefully nothing. But we're going to go down and we're going to get four obsidian, then we're going to come back up and make our enchantment table. And then we're kind of on a mission to find diamond until we can kind of survive what we need to survive. We need to look into the portals and stuff, dimensions and what's what's kind of the first step what are we aiming for we're probably aiming for some sort of ores which would have to be in new chunks I think in new render chunks so it's not too bad oh this is handy if I did I don't know if that's gonna make <laughs> no never mind no obsidian it's probably really dark here as well and I have no torches so I'm just gonna run this way and hopefully find some coal actually. So if I found some coal I can make some torches. But I'd say I probably mined out quite a lot of it, but let's see. Uh, there's a bit of coal. Hello. Okay, we could probably make some obsidian there. And I'm scared. Bats don't scare me. Okay, so I'll make a few torches out of this so we can see what's going on. So, yeah, the main thing right now is just get some obsidian, get back up, and then we're going to have to figure out what we want to do. So it's going to be a lot of preparing. We're going to have to get diamond, I think, is the only thing that's going to... Oh, missed a bit of iron here. I'm pretty sure diamond's the only thing we're going to... Like, the only armor that can help us out right now. I don't think iron's going to really do much against anybody in this mod and we do want to start killing them because we want to get start getting some cool items some cool swords that sort of stuff so i know there's some some decent ones we can get early on that we don't really need the mod for as much uh, all the mods are still down there are they what do you think of the texture pack guys like i really like it i would i wasn't expecting to like it as much as i am i think it's pretty cool so let me know what you think about it. Um, let's try use this. It should hopefully just make some obsidian there. Uh, we'll make some torches. Did not just get 18 coal, did I? Something mad going on there. But anyway, make sure there's no lava underneath us. Should be good. And let's get some. So I'm not quite sure how much I need. I think I need about four obsidian for the enchantment table. I can't remember too well. <gasps> oh, there is lava underneath us. That scared me there. Okay. Let me see if I can... Can I place? Okay, let's just save that one. God, that scared me because I was about to just walk straight out and collect that. That is dodgy stuff. Okay, 
Do you know what? While we're down here, we might go... Oh, Jesus. We might go and look for some um, diamonds. Because diamonds are really important right now. Let me just stay close to it. Just in case there's lava underneath it. I really don't want to lose it. We've got two. So we've nothing to enchant, really, if we go back up without getting any... Um, Without getting any more diamonds. So we're going to have to find some. Don't particularly want to venture too far though. Especially with little creepers like this guy. Oh, go back. Alright. Which way did I get down? Okay. So this is where my... Come here zombie. Oh. I'm going to put my um, obsidian in here for now. We don't need a diamond pick. We Actually, we need an iron one. We need more iron. Hmm. Yeah. So we should probably come down a bit more prepared if we're going to go hunting for diamonds. So let's run straight back up and we can, we can teleport to... She wouldn't be a bad idea putting a command block down here. Would not be a bad idea. I might do that now as well. Right, so it's kind of like a mission to get some diamonds, to get some, um, to get some gear to get us going. And yeah, hopefully this kind of mod will kind of add to the game a bit. I think it'd be really cool for for just all the new mobs, all the new dimensions, just so much to do and so much to work towards. So I think that's going to be great fun. And guys, if you like the idea, please drop a like in the video. So I'll know. And um, yeah, we're kind of on a new adventure now. So let's see how we get on.